Alright guys, so today we'll be working on one image of the explosion effect in Photoshop. From my time side, you see the layer that I work on this project. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get our, is to get our image. So I'm going to come right here and just pick this particular image. This is what we'll be working on. So I'm going to make it right here and just write into Photoshop. So I'm going to open this in the new window. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is to hold and out and double click here. Uh, and if and I'm going to name this layer to character. All right. So the next thing is to add the background. I'm going to add a this color of white. Bring this down and name this BG. BG. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to select this layer and order my quick selection to. So what I want to do is to what is is to create another new layer for this selection. So I'm just going to use a, uh, I'm just going to, uh, this is my new selection, so let's get this in the right here. All right, so when you are done with that, go ahead and create a new layer, a new empty layer. Put an Alt Backspace, all right, and then click on Ctrl D to deselect. I'm going to select this layer and click on Ctrl T. I'm just going to enlarge this layer just like this. I'm going to click on the check mark. Check mark. Now, the next thing I'm going to do to this layer is to, uh, to come in and click on uh, Ctrl G. I'm going to uh, duplicate this layer right and I'm going to take this off. All right, and I'm going to hold my out and just click the click marks. Now, to put this image inside, inside this layer marks. So the, so, so, so the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, hold down this select our layer as you can see if we take a closer look at this in at this uh, cutout you see that uh, you see that all the edges are, are too sharp so what I want to do is to make it a little bit softer by by adding a blur effect so what I'm gonna do is to convert this to make it into a smart object now one of the good things of smart objects is that any effect I will apply to it we can just go back to uh, to adjust it later on so I'm gonna come back here and just uh, Come, come to my blow. Come to Gaussian blow. I'm going to set this at 10. 10 pixels. 10 pixels. I'm going to click on OK. Alright, so I'm going to select this. This is my background layer, and I'm going to sample the blue from here. Or any part of this image, just like so. I'm going to click on OK. So, what I'm going to do now is to, uh, is to make this visible. Alright, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to click on Ctrl Shift U to desaturate it. Next, I'm going to do is to select this image that I selected. I'm going to turn this to multiply. Alright, I'm going to turn it to multiply. At the same time, I'm also going to convert it to a smart object. Alright, so after I convert this to a, into a smart object, I'm also going to come right directly to this part and add also a blur effect to it. I'm going to choose a Gaussian blur. Of course, I'm going to add 20. You can you can leave it at 10 if you like it this way. But I'm just going to make it 20. Point zero. And make sure that your your uh your, your uh preview is checked so I can see what's going on right here. I'm going to click on OK to commit my change. So the next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on this layer, right click and come to blending and options. So uh, I'm going to come to uh inner glow i'm going to come to my opacity i'm going to change this to 18 18 is okay after that i will come to uh this is my technique and i'm going to change it to precise so i'll have a little bit of uh, glow right here i'm going to click on ok so uh the next thing i'm going to do is to select this this up here i'm going to click here and come to color look up now my color look up, I'll come right and select horror blue. So horror blue is going to make it even much bluer. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and create this. Alright guys, so this is the end of this tutorial and uh, I hope you find it very useful. Then feel free to uh, drop a comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you in the next video.